Hello there. Shogun's unique optical finger tracking solution continues to be one of our most popular and widely utilised features. It enables users to capture the motion of hands and fingers using markers, as they would with the rest of a performer's body. While we do support the use of some fantastic third-party solutions dedicated to motion capture for hands and fingers, this approach facilitates the capture of nuanced, fine-scale hand and finger movements without the need for any other technologies in the pipeline. With Shogun 1.10, we have introduced some significant improvements to the accuracy of this functionality, capturing even more subtlety and nuance in a performance hand motion than ever before. Two major adjustments have been made to our wrist parameterization and to some of the settings within our hand solver. There are three major benefits resulting from these changes, which are better fidelity of the hand proportions, an increased range of pose reproduction capabilities, and a greater tolerance to variation in marker placement on the wrist. In combination, these changes provide users with data that is more accurate to the individual hand proportions of the performer in question, supporting a wider range of poses while alleviating some of the strictness that we previously placed on marker placement. Fundamentally, this means that you can enjoy the benefits of these improvements without having to make any changes to your existing workflow or processes. Now let's take a look at what this means for your actual data. On screen now is an image of the hand solve in Shogun 1.9, where the performer is pointing with their index finger. While fairly accurate to the performer's pose, there is a slight bend in the finger which is not present in the pose. When we view this same data in Shogun 1.10, we can see that the index fingers are straight and more closely match the pose of our performer. But what about poses that are more likely to be affected by occlusion? or involved more nuanced motion in the fingers. The image now seen on screen shows such a scenario, where our performer is flipping through the pages of a book. While the overall pose is correct in Shogun 1.9, we can see that in Shogun 1.10, we are capturing a finer level of articulation in both the fingers and the thumbs. And what about scenarios where the performer is gripping onto something, such as a prop? Now we see the performer holding a ball with their fingers covering it entirely in Shogun 1.9. These results are strong, but the adjustments made in Shogun 1.10 capture even more of the nuance in this shape. Even without the original footage for context, it is far more evident that this performer is holding a spherical object due to the impact that object is having on the shape of the hands and fingers. These are just a few examples of the impact these changes have had and we have seen consistent improvements across a countless range of other poses. We are extremely excited by the potential this provides our users to capture data that is closer to reality than ever before. Most importantly is the fact that these benefits require no change in workflow. We're using the same markers, the same calibration process and general use as we have done before. We invite all of our existing customers who are keen to maximize the benefits of these updates to download Shogun 1.10 today and to all prospective customers to please contact our team to learn about how they can start to make Shogun part of their VFX pipeline. Thank you for watching.